Ladies and gentlemen, Chris oh, of shit. Amir Hollow! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me fix the camera real quick. Just give me a second. All right, guys. What's happening? It's all good. All right, cool. I need to stall for a second. All right, dude. How are you, man? Appreciate you stopping by. Good, good. Thanks for having me on. Where in the Bay Area are you? I'm actually in Los Angeles, but I'm I lived up in the Bay the for like a decade. The fuck is that so. shit, dude? <laughs> <laughs> gotta be gotta be true, man. Gotta be true to the home, the home, the hometown. Got you. Of course, for those that may not know you, could you please properly introduce yourself? Uh, let us know whereabouts in the world that you. I mean, uh, plug or promote anything you'd like, and uh, just let us know what you got going on right now, dude. You're gonna say anywhere in the world you are. Uh, I know Chris, he just said that. Uh, Chris Heil from from Amir Hollow. Uh, I'm from uh, Sherman Oaks, California, currently. Uh, my group is also based here in Los Angeles, and uh, we just have a new song that just is like hitting all the platforms right now. So go out and stream Only Hell. Uh, it's just hitting all the platforms. Why aren't we playing that then? Why are we starting with that? You got it. <laughs> he, he just sold that pretty well, man. I'm told. Fuck this old shit. Where's this new shit? Where is it? It's in there. It's in the lyric video. Oh, there it is right oh, here. Oh, shit. Here we go. Dang. Now, I know who Gus is. How long ago did you guys do this? Um, It was right, right around the time he passed. We were literally, like, trying to wrap the record, and... um. It was that was a little bit of a delay that we had, but yeah, it was right around. It was, but it's been it's been over a year now. I have no idea who this has been person gone. Is. So, for those of you guys that uh, don't know, Gus, uh, Gus Gus is a my, um, yeah, he's a producer in, in Los uh, Angeles. Yeah, producer. Yeah. So uh, this was one of the last. This record has a like most of the songs were like the last cluster of songs that I wrote with him. So no, I'm shit. glad to get, be getting it out finally. Dang, that's crazy. Adds like yeah. a like a chill factor yeah. to the so, to the record this already. Was, this was definitely a, this was definitely a fun one, man. This is this is uh, I'm proud of this one. This one's cool. Only hell, here we go. I hate to ask, but how how was the process of getting those recordings post what 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 happened? Ah uh, oh man, that I mean that was the biggest challenge. To be honest with you. Um, Luckily, you know, the, the community that all of us that worked with him um, kind of got together after, you know, after a little bit of time and whatnot. And, and uh, uh, Ira Black was, he was really, really like involved in, in making sure that like all of, all of the songs and everything from the artists that were currently in process and like working with them, like got our stuff. And um, I had to, I got, I got the tracks. I had to literally... Uh, re-record some stuff that wasn't finished. I had to, you know, build, basically build a rig and and basically save all the tracks. And then um, my my buddy Andrew Wooper um, helped me, you know, mix it and get it get it done because it was like stagnant in process. You know, like when you're in the middle of the middle of the recording process, in the middle of like we hadn't even really started like the total final mix process yet, so. It was a, it was quite a, it was quite a challenge, man, to, to like bring it all together because you know, in most cases that would just like wither away, you know what I mean? But right. Like I fought to like, like get the, get the, get the tracks. I fought to build a rig to like get it up to the standard to send it out to get someone to mix it. And then you know, luckily my group and myself have like a, a pretty you know solid support system of like friends and industry people and whatnot and. You know, they, they were also friends with Gus too. So, you know, like my friend Andrew was like, "Yeah, man, I got you." Like, let, he's like, "Just get get the tracks prepped, get them all ready." And he's like, "I can, you know, I can help you mix them." And then um, Ari Ari Blitz also helped write and re-record one of the tracks that we have on the record, just because you know, when when everything's tossed up in the air like that, man, and like you re you finally get to the point where like you open the tracks up, you open the whole session up. 
and then you're like, oh crap, this section's missing, this section's missing. And so it was, you know, it was a process. Like I had to literally like take it on as a project to where like map everything out and be like, okay, this song is like ready for mixing. This song only has half of the stuff cut. We have to recut the, the, the last changes that we made because they, you know, they could have been in another folder or something like that. So it was a, it was quite an ordeal, man. It sounds <laughs> like a lot of work for yeah, sure. This man runs shit. I, I believe yeah, Glad. Well, I mean, what was that? No, I'm sorry. Lloyd said uh, said something, and then I I didn't mean to cut you off. Oh, I, um, it, you know, you know how it goes, man. It's like you put so much heart and soul into something, and you just want to like, the last thing you want to do, man, is just let it die. And you know, my homie was one of those guys. It was like he was the one that was always telling me, man, like, just do it. And if you don't like it, don't just put it. Do it. Out, but just finish it. Exactly, man. Just finish it. So. That's my, that's like my mentality anyway. Just, you know, just get it out. So it was so much, so much effort, and blood, sweat and tears, man, to get to that point. It would have been a shame for me. I, I, I wouldn't been able to, you know, I wouldn't have been able to, to write music for this project anymore if I would have let something like that happen. You know what I mean? It's just like you either walk away completely or you finish what you're doing, you know? And it gets tougher when you get older, man, because then you realize you've done a lot for music and sacrificed a lot in your life. And then if you just stop or quit, it's like, why did I do all that? That was pointless. I have to keep going. So it's a never ending cycle, Absolutely. dude. You have to always keep going. Absolutely, man. What is, Absolutely. uh, what is, what is, it, you got to keep going. I don't know anything. I don't know anything different, dude. I gave up all, all my extracurricular activities, you know, motocross and snowboarding and all that stuff because, you know, playing shows and touring and, and doing, you know, just being enveloped in music, dude, you don't have time. And the older you get, it's like, what are your priorities? And it's like, I wish I knew something, you know, I wish I knew how to express myself differently because mm -hmm. I, let me tell you, being a musician is freaking hard. <laughs> it has but its moments, it has its perks, it. but it is hard. What is what is Glass Castle about? Uh, a castle made of glass? Uh, it's, kind of a, it's, kind of a, it's kind of a metaphor for, you know, like, thinking that you have like a position that's like solid and whatnot. And, you know, you're, you're viewing like the outside, but like one thing can bring, you know, like make it tumble down, you know? And it's kind of like, kind of like a reflection of like what you think, what you think is going on outside, like your surroundings or whatever, isn't really what's going on. It's just kind of like a, it's kind of a metaphor for that. Makes sense. I can dig it. Dude, are you down to? Uh, that's probably my favorite in your catalog, by the way. We play that one all the time over here. Um, are you down? Oh, hell yeah, dude! Are you down to review some bands with us and do some trivia? Have a little fun. Yeah, I'm down. Yeah, cool. that's that's definitely cool. We left off. Yeah, we... Those, that was the first one that that we released. It was like an advanced mix. There's a there's a couple of changes on that one. We cleaned it up, and I just wanted to get something out on the anniversary of Gus's passing. So I got th that song came out that week, and then um, yeah, that's that's the first song that we released with uh, our new singer Ron, and uh, our our Ron's rhythm fire. guitar player moved moved over to to lead vocals. Yeah, dude, he's he's rad. He's a good dude. He's fire so, though. I'm yeah, Ron. Excited for the. I'm excited for the. You make me nervous though. <laughs> and I do this a lot. Why? Oh, quick, Chris. While we're jamming this, what TV show film? franchise any of the above do you think you know the most about i'm gonna base my trivia around that south park simpsons breaking Whoa. bad what do you know the most about what show have you is your favorite show yeah I'm gonna, what do you think you could beat me in knowledge with bro i bet what you can we more. try and stump you on they're kind of cool it reminds me it's, of like full frontal yeah, vibes i would cool. put them with uh pigsy did you think of a tri of uh, a trivia answer you mean topic? Uh, like a topic, besides, yeah, that's what I meant. Like sports, it would definitely be like maybe The Walking Dead. Okay, it you can like be sports it, more. Let's it could be sports. sports. It could be sports. Yeah, we could do sports. Be careful. You pick basketball, you're fucked. Football, BG might get you. <laughs> Let's go NFL football. What do you want? What sport? You know a lot about NFL. I'm down for whatever. And NFL, it is. Yeah, I know. I know a little. Pretty little. By Kaifen. Kaifen, I think is how you pronounce it. What do you guys think of that one? 
I, I liked it as more a as a drummer. It went. Yeah, as as a drummer, I dig the, the kick drum sound just because it just reminds me of like being a kid and blowing the shit out of like a boombox and blowing the speakers out of a boombox or something. Hell yeah, that's cool. That would be fun too. Just seeing it explode. <laughs> Your NFL yeah, first fucking... your first sports trivia question is, and I'll switch to Walking Dead after this, but here we go. All right. Have you ever heard of the Music City Miracle? Referring to the NFL. Yes. It's a it's a game that occurred in 1999, specifically an AFC wildcard game. I need the two teams that played in the Music City Miracle game. Oh, you get a chance to think about Laura, it, but, but I, like, chat lost focus in that half. You asking you, that you had a hint. Long. You had, the what hint is it's say? a it's an AFC wild card game, nineteen ninety nine. Those are your hints. <laughs> Strange legend. What'd you say? He always does like this awkward shit in front of the camera. Like, he'd be making love to the camera, bro, and it fucking freaks me out. Beautiful song and sick vocals, <laughs> but like, fuck. You just put some hips. He put some hips in yeah, it real that quick. Yeah, dude's got pipes, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> All right. So your next trivia question, called the Redemption trivia, is about Walking Dead, and it's gonna be a little bit easier. I'm trying to get you that wheel spin. And by the way, nobody got the last question. Gotcha, bitch. Stump number two. It was the Buffalo I mean, Bills. I already lost the question, but it was I think I think it was the Buffalo Bills and the Kansas City Chiefs Music City Miracle. No, it wasn't a question, it was a fucking statement apparently, because that was long as book. I thought it was the uh the the Titans. You're right. It is the Buffalo Bills versus the Titans. That's correct. That's correct. You're right. I said the Chiefs. He wins. Chris no, wins. it was it was already too late. It was already too late. Nah, yeah, he corrected you, he wins. <laughs> Chance, resend the link, please, if you could in the chat. And uh, your your redemption trivia question regarding The Walking Dead is: What is the name of the character in The Walking Dead that was beheaded by the governor? Oh, jeez. Um, he in fact was a doctor. Yeah, he was. Um, I'll give you a second. Starts with an H. That is correct. What is his name? Herschel. That is correct. Oh, man, hell yeah. <laughs> that's the dude that kept all like the relatives and like neighbors like in a barn because he didn't want to let go. That's that guy, right? right, right. Yeah. You know they killed they yeah. killed him off because in real life he was like an absolute drunk, and he got in trouble like uh, non filming. Function. So, oh, well, the man, man that's, was that's boring. Lived a life. Let's he spin it again. That's boring. Drunk. Dealt with enough of your people's shit. He said, "All these zombies, mother. <laughs> I gotta go get a beer." <laughs> it's a worldwide show, dude. You never know. You just never know what you're gonna get submitted. And thank God, Lizzie didn't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. So, Chris, we do giveaways uh, pretty frequently. You have two extra entries into the next giveaway, and you are a supporter of the show as far as the the band Amir, uh, Amir Hollow being in as a supporter of the show. So you guys will could possibly win uh, some really cool prizes coming up here in the future, man. Sweet. Best of luck to you. What's what's I another Thank you. What's another Mirror Hollow song that we absolutely have to hear? Ah... Uh... Shoot, to be honest with you, those are the those are the only two that we have out with our new singer. But with our old stuff, um, like like I like to listen to "Ridicule the Innocent." That's one of it's one of the jams that I like to listen to. You know, you can uh, always give us a, a leak. That's all. Give us a leak, bro. Uh, oh, he yeah. thought about He's it. He's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. I that's one of my favorites that you guys have for sure. Um, what's, do you have any shows yeah, or anything yeah. coming up? Anything you can plug regarding some shows coming up? Uh, no, just besides the, just besides the, the drop of the new song, uh, today and tomorrow, um, no shows coming up yet, but, uh, we're working towards that. Um, we're just stoked on the record being finished and, uh, that's going to come out this spring. So we're when, ramping up, we're ramping up for, you know, 
releases and more shows and we've been stacking content for long enough now it's time to like you know get it out there and then get out there and play some shows and whatnot so when when the, when the set maybe when the set then, uh, is your, uh with your festival uh, maybe you will see i'm i'm trying to finalize uh we have the location we have the date but the guy's like going back and forth with me regarding something with camping and uh because we're trying to solidify the uh, ability to be for friday saturday into sunday people are being able to camp so we're finalizing what that's going to cost hopefully we have some more information soon but when you guys have the 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 set list regarding the new singer it, are you going to still work in some of the old stuff mm -hmm. or is it going to be completely new material oh, yeah. in the set list no it's going to be a mixture of old and new Hell yeah. Uh, just it'll probably be mostly new, but but there's like Blaine. We we can't you know just like toss that song. That song was did pretty well for us. Uh, um, got it into you know like a, a, a video game and and a budget horror movie and stuff like that. So what video game? Some some people ask for that stuff, man. It's kind of weird. What video game? Uh, it was a DLC pack for uh, for Fallout. Fallout. What the? F hey yo, what the fuck? Which Fallout? I've played them all. Uh, it was four. It was called Rogue Radio. It was like the Rogue Radio DLC pack that got added into that at like a later date. Dude, that, that is cool. that is insane. We got to play Blame and right then, now. Uh, and then what? I'm sorry. And then Confession got um, Confession got added into uh, a movie that's streaming on Amazon. It's like the the title track when the credits roll. Um, called Circus Kane. It's like a slasher flick. So let me ask you this. So as as an artist that yeah. maybe that may be watching right now, how can they get their material into a video game or music? What path did you guys go to achieve that? You just you have to consistently submit, dude. I mean, and 9 9 times out of 10 and 10 times out of 10 sometimes it's no, but you know, it's you know, that one time they say yes and you know, we didn't get you know, monetarily, we didn't get an advantage for like for getting into the video game, but we did them a solid. You know, we we got in, and that was our networking way of getting in. Is like letting them use the song, and then now we have a connection to keep submitting to. So that just gotta awesome. keep submitting, dude. It's and it's the you gotta have thick technique. skin because. Yep. A lot of people will be nervous to keep asking people stuff. And it's, listen, you're going to shoot the basketball 20 times. You're going to make it one or twice, hopefully, out of that. Just keep going. And somebody's going to pick you up, and that's all you need. Have you guys ever heard of... Uh, yeah, and just be real. Have you guys ever heard of Taxi.com? No. Taxi.com is a website that does exactly what you're asking for. They they It does nothing to do with taxis. It, it's a service where they need music for film, video games, movies, all kinds of stuff. And they're always like, you have to like become a member of their site, but they constantly have like background music for like a JLo film. And they just need to like go through jazz artists or whatever. So they're always submitting. I remember our, our old band used to submit there all the time. Taxi.com. That's a free plug for yeah, them. That's... Let's, uh, let's play, let's play Blaine. Hell yeah. It's a banger, dude. For sure. Thanks. Back. It's just listening to it, man, just makes me realize how much work I have to do because I sing backups when I play drums live. <laughs> I'm just like, dude, I am not in shape and ready for that right now. I'm just like, ah. That's a real ah. ass thing. Making me think about more work I got to do. You got to do it. Got to give the people what they want. Lloyd, yeah. what's, a, what's a couple of questions you got for, yeah. for Chris? You've been killing me, but uh, where are the other guys? Why aren't they, where, why aren't they here? And how did you like get this all formed together? Well, originally this group was um, was formed in Fresno when I lived in Fresno for a few years, and uh, it uh, transferred over to Los Angeles when I moved down here. And um, right now we're in the process of uh, auditioning guitar players because since our rhythm guitar player now is our singer, we need we need to fill out the band. So you know how that goes. He doesn't sure. want, he doesn't want cool. to do both at the same time. He's just going to go full front man. Nah, nah, he's full front man. With with the pipes that he has, dude, he's got to be able to be free, man. I can take <laughs> Not chained down. Facts. Who in the band can smoke the most? Smoke weed every day. Smoke weed, uh, the most weed. Me. Whew. Ah, uh, I mean, it goes through it goes through uh, phases. Cause I say 
I sometimes smoke the least, and then sometimes I smoke the most. <laughs> it just depends. It depends on what's going on. Uh, sometimes our singer can put it away, dude. But you know, when we're in when we're in work mode, there, it's kind of hard. <laughs> I feel you. Uh, let's do a little MC Kiever. He's been waiting patiently for us to play uh, Daylight. MC Kiever. How did he say that? Spend all the money on my fam and charge it to the game? Let's go. Yay. That's a yay <laughs> for sure. Bars. MC Kiever. <laughs> Adult bars, dude. That's dad trap right there. That's what I'm saying. That's dad trapping. That's good. Hell Chris, yeah. there's, there's something kind of like weird behind you bro if you look behind you right here there's something on your wall like literally right behind you like if you turn around you'll see it oh it, it doesn't, doesn't matter, matter it doesn't time matter time. what it is because it's time to play another mirror hollow song right now this is doc coil uh doc's the guitarist for bad wolves oh okay cool Hell yeah, dude. It's, every one is really, really good, like, to be honest with you. Guys, please, please, please hit the follow button. Support them. Give them a hell yeah. yeah. Mirror Hollow, Los Angeles, California. Chris, thank you so much for joining us today, man. We appreciate it. I'm not too far from you. I'm, I'm up in Victorville, so I'll try my best to make it out to a show when the time is ready. And uh, hopefully we hell can yeah. link up maybe at the festival. Yeah, and when just... we start ramping up, dude, we might we might go out that way and, uh, and play a show. So if we're out there doing a set, because sometimes we go out, um, just outside of the LA area and do like, you know, small warm up shows and stuff like that. So cool. If that's the case. I'll give you a, give you a heads up. Yeah, and, please uh, do. See what's, see what's up. Dude, please. dude, thank you so much for having me, man. I thank you for it. joining me. And we so, appreciate you spending some time support, with us. Any support of the music, man. I just fucking, I, I respect it. And I love it so much, man. Thank you. Fucking four days a week, motherfucker. <laughs> <Hell> Chris. Yeah. <laughs> of you guys later. All right. Amir. Hello. Hell yeah. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it.